Welcome to my channel. Today, a craft hack. We're going to make an art journal from a pamphlet we get at any home renovation store like Home Depot. So I got this paint catalog from our local home improvement store. It's called Home Depot. It's got about 10 pages. Each of the pages are about eight inches by eight inches. And I thought, you know what? This may make a great art journal. Now to prepare the pages, because they're a little bit shiny, I am going to give a coat of gesso. Most pages I put gesso on. Now you can use a brush, but the fastest, easiest way I have found to put gesso onto multiple pages is using a brayer. I'm not using a gel plate, that's just a glass plate on the side that I use as a palette, and I'm putting a coat. I do come back and I do give it a second coat. Now, when you brayer it on, not only does it knock back whatever picture there is, but it also gives some interesting texture. Now, the gesso seals the paper. It prepares it for the wet medium that's to come. So in between, before I go to another page, I dry it. And the pages are standing up fairly well. The gesso is not flaking off, despite it being shiny. And so I'm just giving this a second coat. I'm not, you can still see some of the picture, but I know I'm going to be adding color and pattern and, and stuff. So doing more than that, it seems unnecessary. So I'm drawing it. And then once I finish two coats on each side, and I've dried it a little bit, I'm going to stand it up on edge at night and let it air dry. So it's really good and dry before I do any work. Now these are faces to finish from Elena Zinsky art. And I love these because I can't draw or I don't have confidence in my, in my drawing of faces. And with these digital stamps, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, and they can fit whatever size page you are doing. So I've adjusted the size to the page, and I've given this girl a neck. Each of the pictures are just a little bit different, and my plan is to use all these faces in this homemade journal and have some of the fun. I've always admired the art journals that people do when they can draw faces, and up until recently I thought, oh, I just can't do it but I can. Now here I'm cutting up some Tim Holtz collage papers. This is from his botanical set. And adhering this down. These are their like patterns on tissue. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go, but I thought, oh, I, I like using these collage papers of his. So I thought I'd give it a try and I'm putting down three. In the end, none of this shows. Kind of as the page evolved, it went its own way. Now I'm taking some gesso that has thickened over time, but you can buy thick gesso and push it through a stencil. This stencil is called Geodetic. And while you don't see the pattern in the finished product, you do get the texture in real life. And for me, an art journal page is not an art journal page unless there's texture. Once that's dry, I'm adding this Stamperia word stamp. I know, I know, I've you've seen me use this so much, but I absolutely love the stamp, and it's just always the perfect thing for so many pages. And I stamped with archival paint because it's or ink because it's permanent. Now I have a Harlequin stamp, and I'm stamping some of the black with the archival ink again. Now, if you don't have a Harlequin stamp, you can use a Harlequin stencil and do some stenciling on there. Now comes the time to pick colors. And I'm going to go pink and blue. And I'm using the block and blend kind of technique, mixing the paints on the page. I've added a little bit of purple, but then I decide I didn't like that purple.
So this page goes through a lot of different stages as I play with it and I like something and then I don't like something and, and I keep reintroducing some of the elements that I do like. I'm just taping off the other page just to keep it clean and get a nice straight edge there. I'm just adding a little bit more color. And as I add more layers of color and use maybe a little bit of the white gesso, that becomes more opaque and it's pushing back whatever's in the background. So you're not going to see necessarily a lot of that word stamp or the Harlequin stamp. Now here I'm taking some white paint and rubbing it over the textured areas. I wanted to bring that out. It wasn't working too well with the blending foam. Remember, this is just thick gesso, not modeling paste. So it's a little tougher to get it. And then I'm rubbing it with the pad of my finger and that brings out a little bit more. Now I'm re coming back with the Harlequin stamp. I'm putting white paint on it and I really like it at this stage. I like those the white there that brightens the page. But don't worry, I cover it up. So now I'm not quite happy with the color, so I'm mixing more colors in there, and that's, again, pushing it back. But remember, art journaling is all about developing those layers. So you're still gonna see the Harlequin stamp with the white later on, and that some of the black is peeking through. You get little bits of that, and it it just all works together. The page isn't done till you say the page is done. Grabbing this Art Deco Leaves stencil, one of my favorites, and using the quinacridone magenta, and I'm stenciling on it. And I'm really, this is where the page is like, yes, this is coming together. I'm liking this motif on here with the girl. So I grab white. I think I had white gesso on my palette. So I'm grabbing that and I'm really liking that look. It's brightening it. It's lightening it. It just looks like a good backdrop for my digital girl, my digital stamp girl. It got a little smudge, so I'm adding more color and coming in with white acrylic paint. This is a little bit more opaque than my gesso. I just want it a little brighter. That's me being extra picky. We all have bouts with that, don't we? So I've lost that Harlequin stamp. So now I'm putting black on here because I have the white and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna be back. So if you're counting, that's the third time I've done the Harlequin stamp. The stencils and some of the stamps that I have here can be purchased at ninniesnapkins.com. You can check it check out my affiliate link in the description box. Now I'm edging the page using the floating acrylic technique and black acrylic paint. This frames the page, it sets it up. And I often do it at this stage. It just makes everything come together for me. So there's my digital girl. And I've just cut out the neck and you know some of the shoulders. I was playing with what I could do. And I've put her a little bit off center because I think that looks better than having her blank right in center. And I've split up the sentiment. Now this sentiment comes from my sassy saying sentiment. And I'm just gluing everything down with a good coat of fluid matte medium. You can use gel medium as well, but I would stick to the matte finish. Now I wanna colorize the girl. I'm going to paint her hair, you get a base coat, and then I know I'm going to be shading, adding highlights and low lights, and make it come together. Here I'm just adding more gesso with the paint because I don't want it to be one tone. That just looks flat. Automatically, when I just added that little bit of white, it looks more interesting. Now shading, doing faces, doing eyes, this is all new to me. And I've watched videos and I will watch more and I will learn. But I think it's really important also that we go and we do 
some creating. Because now that I've done a few faces, now when I'm watching those videos, it's going to make a lot more sense to me. For filling in, for colorizing the digital stamp here, I'm using, for the most part, a angle brush, a small angle brush. I just find that gets into the nooks and crannies, painting the center of the eyes, and I'm painting the lips. I'm using the pink that's in the background, so there's a little bit of relationship that goes on with the background. And I chose yellow hair for my girl because yellow is a complementary color to the blue. And So as I fill this book using Elena's digital stamps, the 10 different faces to finish, hopefully I will grow and learn and do more. And one of my homework assignments is I'm going to be doing some, watching some of these videos that I've watched in the past. I painted the eyes the same turquoise that's in the background. Again, just like the lips, we want this, the colors to coordinate in some way. Now I'm painting in the neck here, so I'm just drawing it with my Stabilo All Pencil, and then I'm coming in with the skin tone that I've chosen to use and colorizing it. Not too happy with the really, really red rosy cheeks. I'm painting over that. Nothing that you put down there can you un you can undo it. You can add colors, just dry the paint, add another layer. It it, it all covers. Now I'm coming in and I'm shade going to be shading the hair, the face, under the chin. And I'm using some of the brown, and then I come back and I do use some black. The link to Elena's um, Etsy store where you can get the 10 faces to finish or any other of her digital stamps is in the description box below as well. With these, I can take this and I can use the head shape and I can totally change the hair if I want. So in upcoming videos, that's what you're going to see me doing, doing different things, altering, taking the digital stamp as the base, as my starting point, and adding to it as I get a little bit braver. I'm really excited to share with you guys today that one of the things that I do when you shop at my affiliate links, the money that I get from that, I put back into my art for batteries, for uh, SD cards, for my laptop that I edit the videos with. But what I was able to do this time is buy a mount that allows me to now take video from above. So the kind of wonky angle that I have using my tripod should be a thing of the past. And now we were, are going to be able to get a view right from above. So in the upcoming videos, hopefully you notice the difference. So I just continued shading, adding the whites to the eyes. I'm using my Secura glaze pen to go around the sentiment.
here, I'm using the Secure Glaze on the face. I need to go and buy a black micron pan that I can use. Um, it would have been better because this is dimensional and it's not exactly the right application for it, but it's what I had. And there we have the finished book. Or do we? I decided I wanted to put a flower in her hair. I had this one, this was stamped from a hydrangea stamp. It was one of the flowers. And I just added a color. I added a pink, some of the pink to it. And I thought, well, maybe I could put more than one in her hair. Then I decided just one. So I'm just gonna glue that down and add a finishing touch. Grabbed my fine line applicator bottle and I'm just putting in the white lines. When I painted over it, I lost some of that. Thank you so much for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. If you know of any great videos where they do faces, give me their names below. Love to see. Until next time, go get creative.